Hello mga katiknik Today I'm gonna show you How we replace A compressor Of a Mitsubishi 7.5 ton Split Air conditioning system Okay Let's go I prepared my uh, Oxyacetylene welding set So first of all we prepare for flashing we need to fix the access valve in place of the filter one is going to the indoor for evaporator flashing and one is going to the outdoor for condenser flashing So usually we are doing like this, we need to separate the evaporator and the condenser plusing. So in this case we are using the Harris Silverad 0% So one is done for the evaporator and now we're fixing the other one for the condenser So, hindi siya madali, no? Kailangan rin siya ng assistant ng tagahawak. Kasi ito mga bagay na ito is uh, very hot. Mahirap maghinang mag-isa. Habang hawak mo yung pelirad mo at saka yung handle ng panghinang mo. So, we need to fill in every joint to make it sure na wala siyang leak. So, this is much busy. Air conditioning system. So as you, can, as you can see, the control also is very old. Outdoor in this uh, Mitsubishi unit. So we're closing the acetylene. Uh, and now we are so ready for flashing. Ok, 
Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of things to prepare. And of course, it has a lot of things to do also. You have so much uh, materials, especially you need to bring up this one to the rooftop. So we have cancelled the accumulator. This uh, very old. So we need to put the cup, the axis valve, so that the pressure or the refrigerant 11 will not come out in the axis valve. So as you can see, I put water in the hot spot to meet it. To make it cool down, para hindi masira yung gasket ng hose na din. Okay, now, now I'm fixing the hose. the condenser and also the hose for flushing of the evaporator so the purpose of flushing is to remove all dust dirt oil or debris coming out from the old compressor especially when the old compressor was burned out so kailangan mo natin siyang i-plusing lalo na pag sunog nasunog yung ating lumang compressor Nang sa ganun eh, hindi rin masunog yung ating bagong compressor. Kasi kapag mayroong contaminants yung ating system, napakalaking chance na pag kinabit natin yung bagong compressor, eh, hindi rin siya magtatagal. Kasi nasunog yung system nagiging acidic yung ating uh, oil or ating prion kapag hindi natin siya na plasing ng maayos so kailangan malinis talaga yung uh, system na din yung dinadaluyan ng ating refrigerant so as you can see, we started the plusing, connected also the refrigerant 11 cylinder. So to make the liquid out, we need to reverse the tank, we need to put it upright. to bring the liquid out from the cylinder
so I think there's a less pressure the refrigerant 11 cylinder and this is also a very long pipe sometimes we need to wait at least a few minutes for the liquid to come out from the end of the pipe the open pipe So we're waiting for the refrigerant to come out. So I'm weighing the cylinder because I need to divide into half this uh, refrigerant 11. Half for the condenser flashing and half also for evaporator flashing. As you can see the refrigerant 11 just come out from the condenser so there is uh, I think a lot of dirt and oil coming out from the pipe see so the prion 11 will clean and we'll try out the tubing system of our condenser so now we need to flush using the push the pre 11 out more pre 11 using the refrigerant 22 in this case we're using 22 in, in place of nitrogen gas but i will not recommend you to use 22 you should use the refrigerant i mean the nitrogen gas to push the refrigerant 11 out all of the system so I think the condenser plusing is done so now we're going to plus the evaporator
again we need to wait for a while for the refrigerant to come out from the suction line the open suction line of this system it will take for a while at this uh, three minutes I think if the pipe is going to the first floor so we are in the rooftop the pipe is very long So I think it's done. Somebody cut my video. Okay, so now we're going to fix now the compressor. So the old compressor was a little bit big. Actually, it was a uh, 239LRA, but now we are replacing it with the same Copeland scroll compressor, but in this case, we are using 195LRA for 7.5 ton air conditioning system. See, as you can see, it's the same fittings. The discharge was a uh, triple size. I think this is a triple to seven it, and the uh, suction is a uh, one and one eight copper tube size so uh, we need to remove the cup for the access valve so that the air or the hot gas inside the system to create the pressure while heating the pipe it will come out from the access valve Okay, so it will not build the pressure inside the tubing. So before uh, welding or soldering bracing you need to clean the pipe both the old and the new pipe uh, using the brush or sandpaper or anything that can make the pipe clean so that the our silver rod or pillar rod can uh, stick properly to the pipe so we can have the good join or bracing of the tubing so as you can see we need to make First, the suction line because it is a bigger pipe. So it's okay, it's very, very hot, guys. 
So we're using the ordinary silver rod, zero percent. So we make the one and a one and one eight pipe at least one foot or one half going to the suction of the compressor so in this case our 0% silver don't did not uh, stick properly I think we're gonna need a uh, blue rod which is a uh, 30% because this a blue red speed flux so by using the blue red we can make it or brace it properly without leaks Okay, so we, we try to brace also the discharge. If it will stick using the Harris zero percent. So we try to make compressor head cool so we can damage the winding or the mechanical parts of the compressor. Right. So uh, I think that was not good so I stopped bracing so in this case we need a blow rod so I go to bring the blow rod So at first, I clean again the tube, the joints, so the blue rod and the flux can penetrate on the joints. So I'm using the steel brush because the steel brush can uh, clean the rough surface not like the sandpaper and clean only the flat surface okay as you can see I cleaned it properly
Alright. So I keep it first like that. So I continue first the filter dryer. I think I've done bracing the suction and discharge. And now I'm bracing the filter dryer. So say that. As you can see, this uh, red one that was the flux melted while bracing the joints. So, hopefully, there will be no leaks in the discharge and the suction line. So, now I'm fixing the filter dryer. So in this filter dryer, there is an uh, arrow. The arrow should be going to the indoor because this is a liquid line. So the liquid line is from uh, coming from the condenser after the high pressure gas becomes liquid it's going to the liquid line so the arrow should be going the arrow of the filter dryer should be going to the evaporator so definitely we cannot put it in reverse Otherwise, the, our system will not work properly. So, you, you must uh, take note of that while uh, installing the filter dryer. Alright. Mga ka technique. In this case, we can use ordinary silverad or pillerad. So we need to fill the joints properly. So we will have the good joints, leak free joints. So the, in this case we forgot to put the wet cloth in the filter dryer. But uh, if you will do like this, you must do it fast so that you will not uh, overheat the filter dryer otherwise you can damage the filter dryer the silica inside and something inside the screen so by the way it is called dryer because it will uh, it has a uh, silica inside so it will absorb the moisture inside the system before it will wait to the evaporator and to the compressor 
so I think it's done bracing the filter dryer so now we're going to fix the pressure switches both the high pressure switches and also the low pressure switches so in this case we replace also the replace new pressure switches both low pressure and high pressure switches okay so in tightening of the pressure switch you must take care of, of this one because the one port pipe connected the switch can be broken if you will not take care of it so this uh, compressor We installed this uh, the price of it in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. This is two thousand four hundred Saudi reals plus, but it's coming more than two thousand four hundred uh, five hundred. Yes. 2500 plus Saudi reals for uh, Thailand I think that price but this one is US made it's coming 2600 more plus Saudi reals with but this uh, compressor so this is CR94 QC TF5 522 model. So this compressor is a medium temperature application. So this is ideal for air conditioning application. Okay, the pressure switch was tight, properly tight. So I think now we are ready to what we're gonna do next. Uh, connect the power supply of the compressor uh, the bulb core of the discharge access valve so in this access valve we can put where we can put our uh, discharge hose going to our dis high pressure gauge so that is the purpose of the high side access valve and of course in the low suction axis valve it's uh, it is connected it will be connected to the low side gauge of the manifold so we can read the suction pressure All right.
so we're ready to check the leaks using the R22 so I have another old gauge I think there's a leak in the hose so I replace the hose we try to replace the hose on the discharge high pressure side Right, I'm connecting it to the cylinder. So Make sure we tight all the fittings of the hose so there will be no leaks. Then we open the cylinder for leak testing. So in this case, we're using the soap bubbles again and checking for leaks Alright, I think we have the 50 psi standing pressure. You can see too much oil outside the compressor coming out from the system, the tubing system. I think this mix oil and the uh, refrigerant 11. So after we check the gas leak. We proceed to vacuum. We connected the yellow hose or the middle hose to the vacuum pump. Then put power on the vacuum pump. Run the vacuum. Turn on and open the low and high side of the gauge manifold bulb then uh, we'll run the vacuum for about 30 minutes or for about uh, 30 inch of mercury vacuum or 500 microns so as I, was, I have said we we need vacuum to remove the air and moisture inside the uh, system the tubing system so after that we proceed to final gas leak leak check then we proceed to initial charging 
He put the kilometer then the run the machine he put the setting down so the machine can run continuously then after that in this 7.5 ton uh, system we we need the uh, running ampere for about 25 to 30 um, running umpers and we got uh, 60 PSIG of the suction pressure and the discharge pressure was uh, 325 so I think it's good condenser is hot compressor is uh, cold and the suction line is cold the liquid line is warm water dryer is warm the indoor room temperature is going down so I think we do it right it's good everything is good so that's it thank you for watching if you are new to my channel, like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will be updated for my next videos. So, see you on my next videos, mga katiknik.